Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a good old fashioned chit chat get ready with me. I have some new things I'd like to use, some good old stuff to talk about. Lots of things have happened over the course of the past week and I've missed a few uploads, but I wanted to film today despite the craziness. So let's jump in. Get your beverage if you are new to my chit chat get ready with me videos. I always have a coffee or a glass of wine. You get yourself one too. I'm going to prime with my Smashbox Serene Greens Primer Water. I know this said limited edition. I hope it's still available. It is summertime. I would think so because this is a, they put out like three summery uh, scents. So in saying that, if this interests you, I would jump on board, which leads me to my next thing that I want to talk about. The Sephora Beauty insider appreciation event is going to be starting for rouges on august 24th and i believe the 30th for the other two tiers i'm going to do a video on that separately so if you have some things that you're kind of eyeing wait until at least the 24th if you're rouge and you'll get 20 percent off they're going to be doing a sale which is kind of exciting they're basically revamping their whole reward system which needed some attention if you ask me I'm going to mix a few foundations today. I'm going to take the Maybelline Super Stay and then a little bit of the Dewy and Smooth from Maybelline because this is super matte full coverage and I don't want a ton of coverage but I do need a little bit more coverage today and so I thought I would add in my Dewy foundation because it helps bring down the matteness a little bit. I did do a dedicated review on both of these foundations. If you are curious, I will link them below and put them in a card for you. I always mix my foundations, especially if I'm really looking for something specific. It's hard to find that perfect foundation. However, this year, I would have to say the Physicians Formula Healthy Skin has been my go-to. Since I discovered it, I, I just, I reach for that one more than anything because it's like that perfect level of coverage plus finish and it lasts really well. I'll tell you one thing I'm definitely going to be picking up at the next Sephora sale is a Beauty Blender because... I don't know, I tried to do the cheaper route, the real techniques, but both of mine look like this. I'm not that rough with a sponge. I mean, this is what I do with it, and then I wash it. So, I don't know, I just don't think they hold up as well. I've never had my Beauty Blender rip. With the exception of when my son took a chomp out of it when he was a toddler, but that was not my fault. If you could only see how I'm sitting right now, I'm in this tiny little corner of this room, and... <laughs> I like have to get everything in here, climb over my bed, and basically strap her in, put on a seatbelt, and hold on to the ride. I miss having a beauty space. I really do. I have to tell you the coverage on this foundation, the Maybelline Superstay, is insane. Seriously full coverage. I have not been like getting all fancy or anything for the past week because um, my husband had surgery. And so I've been kind of taking care of him, and then the same day he had surgery, my son came down with a cold, and then the next day, my daughter came down with a cold, so now my husband is experiencing a little bit of the cold too, and I have a scratchy throat today, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to film today because I'm not sure what the next couple days is going to bring. I'm going to conceal my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer here. This is a good, natural, everyday concealer. I don't find it gives amazing coverage, but for a natural everyday look, I think it's good. I'm going to try setting my under eyes today with the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I think I'm going to mix this lightest one with this slightly yellow toned one. So I have to tell you, I have found the most comfortable pair of shorts ever. I was at Nordstrom the other day. And I, oh my gosh, I tried on so many pairs of shorts because I'm looking for some shorts that aren't too short and that are comfortable, that don't ride up. And I found these and they're on sale right now for like $27. I was like, what? Um, and I just checked before I sat down here to film to make sure they are in stock online and they are. So I'm going to link these below. Um, I'm going to take an outfit of the day picture. So if I have that, I'll insert that too. Or just follow me on Instagram because that's where I post all of my outfit of the day pictures. So anyways, they are amazing. They're roomy. They're not tight. You can move around in them. They're not too short. They're so stinking cute. They have a good amount of stretch in them. So they're not like skin tight on your hips or cutting off your booty at the wrong angle. And they do come in a couple colors, but I got the darker, just more like jean wash ones. Jean wash. That's not even a thing, Chelsea. Um, let's see. I haven't used this bronzer in a while. This is, well, not on camera anyways. Uh, this is by Laura Geller. It's her Baked Bronze and Brighten, and I have the shade Fair. This bronzer I like a lot because it has more of that reddish undertone, 
which works well if you're, you know, more neutral to cool undertone. That ready, ready undertone bronzer really mimics, like, the color you would actually be if you were to get tanned or, for me, burned. Like, when I'm at home and I look underneath my bathroom lighting, I look super tan. But as soon as I leave my house and go out in public, I look so white. And we went to the zoo the other day, and my husband just kept saying over and over again, You're so white. You're so pale. I'm like... <laughs> Thanks! And I think it's because usually I do self-tanning in the summer, and this year I just mm -mm. <laughs> have not messed with it. I'm kind of having regrets because I look at people with like a super good tan and their cut-off shorts, and they look all cutesy and stuff, and then there's me, and I'm super pale, and I have like varicose veins and bruises on my legs, and just like, you know, just life marks. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I should have done the whole tanning thing. Something about being tan. And how I feel like it makes you look a little bit more, makes you look more toned, got like that healthy glow. <laughs> when you're just ro rocking your usual pale self, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as glam, I guess. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring today because I'm thinking that I look a little bit puffy. <laughs> Which, whatever. Um, I'm going to do this color mixed with this color. And I do not like to do too crazy. I say that every time and then I watch this back and I'm like, okay, yeah, you, you did not do what you said you were going to do. So I like to keep it a little bit up here and just kind of, just create a little definition, nothing obvious. So I think I missed Thursday's upload and I'm hoping, uh, today's Friday, so I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow morning for you guys. But besides the surgery and us having colds and all that kind of thing, before that happened, we did get to the zoo and we had a really good time at that, just having some some family time together. Which I suppose school has started for some of you. We don't start until the end of August. So by the time we get to the end of August, I will be back with a for sure three day a week upload. Even though I've been, tr I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel like I've done really well this summer for having you know my kids home with me all the time, getting some uploads for you. I have some fun things planned for this upcoming fall, and I'm really looking forward to sharing those things with you guys. I don't know about you, but fall and winter, I am so much more motivated and inspired to create content. And I don't know if it's because fall is my favorite time of year. It's my favorite way to get dressed, like boots, jeans, booties, jeans, and sweaters. That is my favorite way to dress, or sweatshirts, or just slouchy, comfy clothes. I'm much more inspired to do um, outfit type videos and, uh, you know, post pictures of, you know, ways you can get dressed or those types of things. I'm much more inspired then than at this time of year where it's hot outside. Okay, it's hot, it's gross, and <laughs> I, you know, I really don't have a ton of cute summery stuff because I don't get dressed like that in the summer. Now, in the fall, winter, yeah, I get dressed like that and I wear those clothes all day, but in the summertime, it's basically jeans and old tank tops and maybe that's inspiring i don't know love cute summer dresses and all that kind of thing but i don't i just don't feel as excited about getting dressed in the summer as i do in the winter time i always set my brows with a little bit of this clear brow gel from anastasia it is waterproof so for me i put it on because i sweat Ugh, unfortunately i'm one of those sweaters and so this helps if i accidentally need to wipe my brow and we don't want to be wiping off these brows in the middle of the grocery store. Priming my eyes with the Milani eyeshadow primer. If you need a drugstore primer, seriously, just get this one. It is so good. Okay, I don't like that you can't see my mouth moving. This looks weird. Do you ever have those days where you look in the mirror and you don't really recognize yourself? Yeah, today's one of those days for me. I almost forgot. <laughs> one of the most exciting events, I guess, over the past week. So we've had the sickness and the surgery. It was also my birthday, so I'm another year older. Cheers. Alright, I had dug out a bunch of ColourPop eyeshadows, but quite frankly, I'm just not inspired to use these. And I think it's because of the formula. Maybe we'll use one or two, but I also brought in this. And I love this, the Anastasia Modern, Modern Renaissance Palette. So I'm going to start with Tempura and a big old fluffy brush. And tap that all over that primer. I am looking ghostly, so I'm going to put my blush on. This is the Burberry uh, Cameo Blush. It's a really pretty pink. And we're just going to do a little something on my cheeks because for some reason I'm feeling I need some color here. When all else fails and I don't really know what color blush to wear, a dusty 
rosy color always works. It just always works. It brightens the complexion. It adds a little bit of color. Now you don't have to put on as much as I just did, but I really like to see my blush. So I'm going to throw on my highlighter too while we're at it. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Matte Baked Radiance. I have a little texture going on right now, so whenever I have a little bit of that, something like this doesn't emphasize the texture, but still adds in a nice healthy glow. And I like to do the Cupid's bow too. It kind of makes your lips look pouty. And you can do right, right here. I guess when I wear more of a matte foundation, I can go a little heavier with the highlighter just to kind of pinpoint and put the highlighter where you want it. So this looks much better. I'm going to set my face with the same thing that I used as primer because you can use this to refresh your makeup, set your makeup, and prep your makeup. Seriously, lovey, lovey, it's so lovey. It's lovely, and I really enjoy the scent of it. It's not heavy, perfumed, fake, artificial. It's just really a refreshing, natural, nature-inspired fragrance. I really like this palette. I would highly recommend this for the sale that's coming up. If you don't own it, I think you would enjoy it. Even if you're not like into these colors, I'm telling you, if you blend these out softly, you'd be surprised how pretty and wearable they are on the eye. I'm going to start with Raw Sienna. This is a Zoeva 227 Luxe Definer. So have any of you bought the Norvina palette? I haven't even seen it in person. I kind of want to see it in person. I do like the colors that are in it. I still have the Soft Glam palette on my wish list as well. Just because I think it would pair nicely with this one and I really enjoy her shadows. I wouldn't pay full price for it. You know, because you can always use your Ulta coupon now and... You know, it's just available at several retailers that, you know, where it could be on sale. And since I already have a couple of the shades in the Soft Glam palette and other palettes, I'm not rushing to get it. I do think I'd probably use it a lot, though. I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange, and this is a MAC 221. I really like this brush, too. I meant to mention this again. Um, this is just a nice, smaller brush to really get into those deeper creases that I have on my eyes here. It's soft. It's not scratchy. I do not like scratchy brushes. And this one by MAC, I don't like some of the other ones by MAC, but this one I do like a lot. I use this one a lot for, you know, like when I'm doing like a second or third color and I really need to get into the deeper area of my eye. I'm going to dig into Vermeer here and do a little bit of that on my upper brow bone here. I don't like my brow bone to be too crazy highlighted, but I want a little bit more than matte. All right, we're going to go for this gold color because it's summer, the Primavera. This is a nice summery gold too, especially if you don't like something that's too gold and you like it a little bit more of a champagne gold. It's not too yellow. It's really pretty. I'm going to take this MAC 212, kind of like a stiff little, angle, stiff little brush here, and I'm going to dip into the brown. It's called Cypress Umber, and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner today. So I also took a little bit of that on my lower lash line and then the residual product from the burnt orange shade that we had used this brush for, I'm just running underneath my lower lash line here. In fact, you could even add just a little bit. I'm not even mixing a little of the raw sienna. Basically, whatever I put on my upper lash line, I usually carry it to my lower, especially to blend things out. And the gold shade that's on our lid, I'm also going to bring that into my inner corner. And also a little bit down here. So I'm going to throw a little of this on my waterline. It's a nice, rich, rich brown. Almost black. So black is too harsh and you don't like that. Try this color. It has a really nice, rich tone to it without being black. The Pixi Black Lacquer Lash Primer. Also been really enjoying this. I like to put this at the very base of my lashes. Not so much the ends because then that's what takes away the fluffiness but definitely at the base. And then Chanel La Volume Mascara. If there's one mascara you tried this year that you've never tried, you must try this mascara. I love it. It is my go-to. I have repurchased this time and time again. It never lets me down and I think it's safe to say it's like my all-time favorite. I dream about having long fluffy full natural lashes but I just don't have that 
So this mascara is the next best thing. Well, actually, false lashes. Let's not lie about this. False lashes would be the next best thing. But that can be cumbersome. Those are hard to apply. They're not for everyone. Not everyone wants to deal with that on the daily. I feel like this mascara gives me lots of volume and length. And it holds the curl also. Okay, so I'm so excited. I have a new lip product to try. I got it for my birthday. Um, but before that, I'm going to line my lips with Lancome Ideal. Another product that if you don't have this lip liner... I think once you have this, you'll find that it really replaces maybe some other things that you loved or that it really fills in the gap of what lip liner do I wear? This one. It just goes with so many different colored lipsticks from pinks to nudes to berries. If you're in a pinch with a red lipstick, dark, definitely like a darker lipstick. It's just a really nice color. And this is it. This is the Marc Jacobs. Let's see. What is this called? The... Black Cherry Baby Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. So it's a lip gloss in a stick form. How cool is that? And I got the color Black Cherry, which it's not as dark as it looks right there. I love it. It's gloss, but I think it's really pigmented. I think you get a lot of color out of this product as well. It has a nice applicator too. It kind of comes to a point there so you can apply it like a lipstick, but then you just like twist it up. And it's also nice that you can see what color it is. Like they made this packaging the same color as the lip product so it's not like a mystery. When I started I had no idea what kind of look I wanted to do but I would say this is like a good summery you know a nice neutral eye with some summer flare little golden color um, and this lip I think is it's a little bit more fall but I like it you know if a color looks good on you you can wear it whenever actually that's a dumb statement. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys for getting ready with me. Let me know down in the comments if you like these get ready with me's because they used to be one of my top viewed videos, but now they're in the more like bottom two. <laughs> and so if you don't like these, I won't make these. So I enjoy filming them, but let me know if these are something that you enjoy watching. Please subscribe on your way out. Follow me on my other social media outlets. I'm very active on Instagram and I like to post outfit of the days there. And then you can see these shorts that I'm wearing. They're so comfortable. Highly recommend those. So thank you guys for watching and we will chat very soon. Bye guys.